So Unicorn Pack added a lot of new toy pets, uh, which gives the Chameleon a lot more things to copy. We actually have a toy pet on the team already here with the Sphinx, but I'm actually interested in the Fairy this time. And Fairy has two different abilities. One involves summoning a Salmon of Knowledge when there aren't any pets left on the team. I'm not actually sure if Chameleon would work with that at all, since I guess the Chameleon would have to faint. Maybe it would spawn two Salmons of Knowledge? Either way, I decided not to uh, to go for that one. Instead, we're going to use the <laughs> Giant Eyes Dog, which is a, a bizarre looking unit, um, but it appears in the front slot when uh, it's an empty space. So kind of like uh, Cerberus, which is in uh, the main unicorn pack itself. And so in order to take advantage of this as best I could, I decided to go with all of the pets that summon something in the front slot. So uh, Cerberus plus uh, Fly plus the Fairy Toy. And of course we can also make multiple units summon in this front slot using some uh, other pets which we'll get to later on. But for now I buy the Fairy and because Fairy's base stats are so bad what I'm going to do here is just uh, sell the Fairy I think and keep the toy alive with the Flying Squirrel. Uh, I've been doing that a lot recently, in fact I just recorded a voiceover for another video which involved uh, using Flying Squirrel. But we scrape a 1 HP win here, despite the 1-1 one, one stats. So there is a Chameleon here, but um, if you watch any of these videos in the past, you'll know that Chameleon often tends to be the last thing that you have to bring in, um, because it just, uh, it's pretty awkward. And, um, you know, we, we're already consuming a space on our team here with Flying Squirrel. And so you can see me uh, pilling Anteater here, and I think you can tell why we're doing that. Um, I was actually checking there to see if on the pack overlay you could um, get the number of pets that you'd already sold at level 3 for the Jersey Devil, uh, but it doesn't seem like you can. So you actually have to find one in the shop to um, see how many you've sold so far. And I think I've pilled two Anteaters already, and we already have the guinea pig ready to go. So we're probably not too far away from maxing out the Jersey Devil. And Jersey Devil is kind of strange because it's pretty uh, inconsistent, I would say, in um, Unicorn Pack itself. But in Customs, it's just absolutely trivial to sell five level threes uh, if you have access to Anteater and uh, Guinea Pig and so on. You know, Stoat, Chinchilla, Platypus, any of those, if you get them to level three, you can um, you know sell more than one level three in one go. In fact, we're one uh, experience away from a, a Sphinx level here as well. Um, are we going to win here? Probably not. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Maybe even if the uh, Anteater buff had hit the uh, Guinea Pig, we still wouldn't have won. But now we get the Jersey Devil, we can check how many we've sold. And uh, it was too quick there for me to even see it. But I think we'll take the level up on the Stoat as well, in case we happen to sell into a Jersey Devil, which we don't. But it's a Mimic, which uh, is another interesting new unit. You don't see a lot of people using it. I think compared to the other summon support, it's just uh, not that great. Although it does allow you to um, create some uh, interesting uh, variations on summon builds. So here I just take the Platypus to have a, a summon unit. Okay, we've sold four level threes. So we just need one more pill for this Anteater and then we'll be ready to go. And this team is incredibly weak uh, for turn 9, but um, it just depends who we go against. And we go against the bog standard jump team and the Jersey Devil gets sniped. So yeah, I think uh, probably we had no chance there regardless of what happened. But at least the Mimic is going to give us a ton of gold here. So it was kind of unfortunate to get that out of the stoat. Uh, there's the pill, so we can get rid of the Anteater now, and that maxes the Jersey Devil out. So we still have uh, three hearts, and as soon as we get the Jersey Devil to level two, we'll just be able to buy whatever we want, and it will automatically be a, a huge unit. Um, and uh, since the pack is set up for a lot of decent summons, uh, we should also get quite a lot of value from them as well. So here we go, level two Jersey Devil. Now I think Beluga is an obvious buy. Yeah, we'll definitely take that. Now, if you're trying to maximize the number of um, feints on the front slot in the team, obviously you would probably want a uh, slug, but I did, decided not to go with it. And um, you'll kind of see why later on. Um, maybe, uh, yeah, maybe you can take a guess. 
but um, we are going to put the Mammoth inside instead, which actually has incredible base stats, so it works pretty well with Jersey Devil anyway. Are we going to have enough here? The Octopus is getting a lot of stats. No, I don't think so. Always tough when you go against the uh, the level two, uh, the early level two Husky people. So probably Mimic, 1-1 one, one Mimic is probably time to go. In fact, I should have sold it there before selling the Platypus to get extra gold back. Oh, actually, I'm going <laughs> to combine them together. Maybe I had a, a different build in mind. I think the Mimic is going to go fairly soon. Maybe it was purely the fact that there were two of them in the shop that encouraged me to do that. But probably, yeah, combine the belugas here. And there is the fly. So we can take the fly now. Although our team is a little bit awkward here. We need to reposition the Jersey Devil if we want to get more than uh, two triggers. In fact, only one trigger out of the fly, I think, because there won't be space um, when the beluga faints. Elephant Blowfish. Uh, we're probably going to lose to that. Summon team versus elephant blowfish, yeah, generally a re recipe for disaster. And for anyone wondering about uh, Slug inside the Beluga from earlier, the answer is that uh, Slug plus Jersey Devil just creates so many stats that you can often end up winning without getting to see all of the token loops. So that's the reason why we have uh, something else inside. So actually in the past I've had requests to make a build like this in Turtle Pack. You know, have multiple flies at the back and then snake in second position so you end up getting that uh, loop effect but uh, although the fly's ability text doesn't mention this it's not possible because a zombie fly cannot be spawned by another zombie fly um, and I will actually see that in a second it is kind of difficult to tell um, but it's just something that you learn once you've uh, played the game uh, long enough I suppose it probably would have been worth me testing that beforehand just in case anything has changed since the last version, but here it's going to look like two zombie flies uh, spawn because the zombie flies fainted, but actually it's not the case. It's because the giant eyes dog fainted, so that triggered both flies at the same time. But uh, the token pets, you know, the other tokens like giant eyes dog, like the fire pup from Cerberus, they do not have the same restriction. So we can just um, keep looping if we have uh, enough different variations. So I think I'm going to put Mammoth back inside the Beluga there. We got a bit lucky getting away with that chicken in the last battle. And am I going to bother going for level 3? Maybe I am since there doesn't seem to be anything else to, to purchase. We are looking for a Chameleon, although I think I'm probably going to have to wait till the very end. Uh, there are going to be a lot of very tough teams to get through in order to have a chance. This is another one that looks like we have no chance against the huge scaling squad, but uh, Jersey Devil is just that good. Um, the never ending army of uh, zombie flies. And um, I think it's gonna be a win. Yeah, you really wouldn't think so based on uh, the initial uh, lineups there, but we get the win. Probably should have purchased the lemon there onto the Jersey Devil given how many times it's been sniped. I am going to freeze the chameleon here and we get the Cerberus. So definitely bring in Cerberus and probably take another um, pancakes maybe. Yeah, definitely freeze that. Probably shouldn't have uh, rolled with the shop frozen there. I should have just bought the Cerberus. I, I need it for the team. I guess maybe I was looking in case I got um, a crow. Um, probably too late for a blobfish now. But it's turn 14. We're hanging on with one heart. And actually here's someone with a token of their own, but it's a permanent uh, level 3 smaller slug. So I hope they managed to get their uh, ribbon that they were looking for there. I've seen quite a few people going for tokens in the last few days. Um, I think uh, Scooty putting out the uh, daycrawler video inspired a bunch of people to do the same. So yeah, 7 trophies. It is kind of risky here to sell the flying squirrel, um, but I think I am going to do it. And then we can get the level 2 fly as well. And I think I'm probably just going to look for um, other chameleons and uh, fairies in the shop. So that if I have to swap them over, um, I can. The chameleon is really only there in order to trigger the giant eyes dog a second time. Because that is one of the restrictions with fairies ability in that it only goes off once. So second Jersey Devil, just to try and guarantee that we don't lose before uh, we get the chance to actually see the build in action. 
the mammoth became absolutely huge there. 2121, and that's only uh, giant eyes dog, I mean, and that's only with a level one toy. The uh, guinea fowl is going to farm a huge amount of trumpets here, but um, we looped so many tokens in the front spot there that we end up taking the win. So I think, am I going to go level three Jersey Devil here or not? I can't remember. I think maybe I was hoping for level two chameleon, but instead we'll go for level uh, two uh, Cerberus and another pancakes on the fly. Back to back Mantis teams. Uh, thankfully here the Cobra in second position is only a level one though. So we should get through this team no problem. They have no snipes except the octopus at the very back. And uh, Hippo with uh, low stats just isn't going to be able to get through the sheer volume of summons. It really is ridiculous um, how strong Jersey Devil is. So now I think the toy is going to expire, but we have the fairy ready to go. So we'll buy sell that and then bring in the chameleon. And so that gives us three flies and then um, I think two fire pups and two uh, giant eyes dogs uh, on top of the mammoth that is also going to come out of the beluga. And I don't bother freezing the fly because I think uh, getting the level three next turn is pretty unrealistic. And it's actually opposing Jersey Devil and strangely they have Mimic at the front with Mushroom. I wonder if that was something that had been uh, compatoed or um, Water of Youth. But now we start seeing the loop so we get Zombie Fly, Giant Eyes Dog, Zombie Fly, Fire Pup, Zombie Fly again, back to Fire Pup, and then lastly we get the Giant Eyes Dog. But uh, yeah, not even close. The sheer weight of summons there. I didn't do the sums, but it was a huge amount of stats. 